may say what most of you black males are thinking, but you're afraid to say it. You need to fire this guy immediately. That was my door. She is my door, but she don't have to belong to me biologically. That officer being fired would be the least of his worries. We are sick and tired of black women being abused. You can say it's not racism all you want to, but this is going on all across this country every day. You can say it's not racism. You can say it's the student, but that student, as I understand, comes from a foster family. She didn't have a father like me who would have been out there that day to deal with that situation in the most savage kind of You do not touch nobody's child, whether they're white or black, in that manner. I wouldn't put my hands on a white child and throw her across the room, slam her on the floor. Her father would have every right to come and take my life if he choose to do so. And as a father, you put your hands on mine like that. You won't have to worry about him being fired because I will put some fire to his behind. To you guys, you are responsible for these people. Sheriff Lott, you are responsible for these people. I have no fear, none whatsoever of you, of the sheriff or any other officer, because that officer is a particular overseer. Now, I'm not a violent, crazy man. I don't have a record. But I will not tolerate this kind of insanity coming from no man touching a child in that manner. So South Carolina, you're doing yourselves well across the world. You kill nine people in Charleston. You shoot the young brother on Broad River Road for going to get his license and registration. And now you're beating up young girls in school and you are thinking about firing him? He should have been gone that day. Why is he still working? When you want more men like me who are feeling like me to get this rage up in them to deal with this ourselves? Is that what you're forcing us to do? Mr. Conwell, threats are not appropriate. I'm not threatening. I'm just not a threat. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you, do you want more men who have this kind of feeling to be built up in them like this for treating our children like that? If you want that, you're going to get that. And it's up to you to stop that. You can stop it. So it's up to you. I'm asking you that question. It's up to you and you and you and you to stop it, not me. Because this is a reaction to an equal and opposite action. Thank you. Thank you for your comments, Mr. Sanger.